Hello and thanks for joining me today. In this video we are going to discuss how to translate your WordPress website into multiple languages using a special plugin and neural networks. So well to follow along you will obviously need a WordPress website and also you will need a WordPress multilingual plugin. So this is the core plugin that we will require. Yes I understand that this is a paid solution that's right but unfortunately I'm not aware of any other solutions that are both free and feature rich so well this uh, plugin actually worth the money that you are going to invest therefore you will need to buy it uh, well so you can choose one of the uh, payment plans as you can see it's not that expensive because you will pay like 100 bucks per one year and then you can use all the features so I would say that that's actually a good deal to be honest. So you just, uh, you know, download this plugin from the website and then you should install it to your WordPress. So I've already done that. Uh, well, you should just register the plugin by um, following the wizard's instruction. And so once you're ready, we should actually configure this plugin. So I'll take a look at the left side. And here we should proceed to languages because we should decide which languages we are going to translate into, right? And so the default language is actually the language that you've initially chosen when setting up your WordPress website. Of course, you can change the default language as you'd like, and then you can add or remove uh, additional languages. So those are the languages you are going to translate into. I'm going to add two languages, but of course you can pick other languages from from this list. You can also edit uh, these languages. Well, usually it is not required, but if you have some special requirements, then as you can see here, it is possible to adjust the locale, uh, this href lang, you can adjust language mapping, but those are actually, uh, you know, advanced features, so we won't need to make uh, these uh, changes. Also, you will need to choose uh, how your language will be stored in the URL. So you have uh, three options. So either your languages will be stored inside directories, just like this. And I would say that's the preferred option because, well, it's uh, the simplest one and your URLs actually work quite nicely. Also, you can use a different domain per language, but in this case, you will need to actually purchase those domains. So this is the most expensive option, obviously. And finally, you can uh, provide your language as this get parameter, but honestly, I would not recommend doing that because your URLs will look quite ugly. Finally, you can choose where and how your language switcher is going to be displayed. Of course, it will highly depend on your theme, on the design of your website. So here you can provide additional CSS to, you know, style this component. Then you can choose to display it in the menu, in the footer, if you'd like, etc., etc. So you can adjust those additional options if needed, so you can spend some time tinkering with those. And then once you're ready, you can actually make sure that your website works properly. So here at the bottom, I can see that that's my language switcher. So everything is working nicely. I can switch between languages. Now the question is, how do we translate our content? And first of all, let's see how to translate uh, blog posts. So let's proceed to all posts page. And here, take a look at that. We can see those two language uh, flags. And it basically means that our blog post can be uh, translated into those into those languages. So you can just press on this plus icon and, you know, provide translations just like this. Uh, so that's the title. And then, you know, that's the name of your category. And then that's the text, uh, like the body of this uh, blog post. And so you can just press on this plus icon to provide uh, those uh, translations. Also from the top menu, you can choose uh, which uh, content should be displayed. So you can 
change the language so now it is going to display this French translation or you can choose Latvian maybe but well we haven't provided Latvian translation yet therefore it says no posts found or you can say all languages to view all the blog posts in all uh, languages okay let's return to English for now and well that's how you can work with the blog posts well actually you can work with your pages in exactly the same way so as you can see the interface looks exactly the same so just go ahead and click on this plus icon to provide your translations so nothing complex in many cases you will also need to provide translations that are used within your theme or the installed plugins and well to achieve that you should proceed to theme and plugins localization and here just choose one of the themes that you are currently using on your website and say scan so it is going to scan all those php files and then once the scan is completed you can see that here is the number of strings that you should translate just press on this number and then you can provide translations for all those strings so for for example you can translate the search uh, word the commands word get in touch you know etc etc so all these um, items can be translated as well and the same applies to the plugins so you can choose one of the plugins or multiple plugins and you can see that well now those strings are exported for you and you can translate those actually you can create a po file so that's a translation file you can click on it and this file will be downloaded for you so if needed you can uh, download it locally and work with this file directly so that's it uh, next you can actually translate your media so for example your images because in this blog post that i have on my website so you see there is an image and well i can actually uh, translate this image well in other words i can provide another version of this image for another locale it can be quite handy if your images contain some text that should be localized and so to translate this thing you can actually go to media translation and then just click edit for example french and you can rename the image or you can even use a different file so i've chosen another file and for the french version we will see this yellow forest whereas in english it will stay green so let's save the media and now here is the new version for your file also you can translate taxonomies and to translate taxonomies you would proceed to taxonomy translation and just choose the type from this drop down for example categories and we can see here is our sample category and you can actually provide the french translation for this category or you can simply copy from the original if you like maybe it should stay sample and you can see that the slug is properly generated for us so you can say save and now our category is translated into french uh, well uh, that's uh, pretty much it so that's how you can work with uh, this multilingual plugin as you can see it's uh, quite simple to use actually and yet it's quite powerful because it provides basic uh, translation management functionality so you can see here all your texts and you can see like whether this text is translated or not uh, you can actually um, provide some notes for translators you can even uh, use this automatic translation so it's going to use a neural network to automatically translate your strings but please be aware that well you have a certain amount of credits this feature consumes uh, some credits uh, that you have initially and so the more texts you translate automatically the less credits you actually have you can change this automatic translation settings here so for instance if you don't want to translate everything automatically you can say translate some <laughs> not that complex basically you just proceed to the management dashboard and then you can choose what to translate for example this post 
and then you can say like translate this post into French and into Latvian. So it is going to use neural network to do the translation for you. But well, we can actually do better than this because well, that's a very basic translation management functionality. And in many cases, you will want to actually hire a human professional human specialist because well neural machine translation is not really suitable for uh, important texts with high visibility also you might need to assign certain translation tasks to the member of your team you might need to export your translations to other third-party services maybe to github to contentful to amazon i don't know so to different services basically and to enhance your translation process you can actually use uh, localize and so localize is a translation management uh, system that can really really help you with the overall process so you can register at localize.com you can try it for free you don't need a credit card or anything you can try all the features for two weeks which is quite cool actually and once you are ready just log into the system and say new project you should give it a name for example wordpress the base language is the default language of your website this is english in my case also let's choose french and latvian languages so those are other languages that i would like to add support for choose software localization and say proceed so your project should be created next return to wordpress and say plugins add new here we should install the localized plugin that is going to import and export our content uh, install this companion plugin and say activate it is going to generate a special secret key for you so say settings localize and take a note of this authorization secret and don't publicly expose it and well uh, return to localize and say apps and here in this list we should search for wordpress click on it and then say install we will need to provide this api url and it should end with this uh, postfix therefore let's provide this postfix and also let's copy the secret and let's provide it here then say authorize and uh, say accept because well localize uh, should be able to manage your posts and pages to import and export of those and then actually you will be provided with the list of all the posts and pages that are currently available on your website as you can see here is our blog post and well it is actually separated into three fields content excerpt and then title so all those items can be translated separately but well before importing those items let's actually set up a new automation rule because i would like to automatically apply machine translation to all my target languages whenever a new english text is added to the project therefore choose your base language here and as for those automated languages i will choose french and choose latvian also let's say use machine translation and for example let's say google translate so whenever a new text is created here in this project we are going to use machine translation to populate those two languages which is actually quite cool let's return to apps and let's say install apps wordpress manage and then we can import our content note by the way that you can automate the import and export operation by clicking here on this cog icon so you can schedule the import for example daily or weekly so this content exchange can be automated as well choose the items say import and well choose the languages actually i would like to import only the english language because later i'm going to provide translations for french and latvian therefore we can choose only english for now make sure to tick automations and click ok it will take a few moments to import all your data so now you can see it has finished which is great and now let's return to the project editor take a look at this take a look at this so we can see that there is this english text 
And the French translation was provided for us, which is really, really nice. And the same applies to this title. So French and Latvian translations were provided for us by Google. But of course, if you don't like this text, you can adjust it by clicking on it. You can see there are suggestions from neural networks. You can type some text here. And once you're ready, just say save. Brilliant. But sometimes you might need to order a professional translation, so you might need to hire a human specialist. And to achieve that, proceed to order, and then click New Order. If you'd like to hire a human specialist, you should choose either Localize or Giengo provider. You can check out docs to learn more about those two providers. Then just choose the project, the source language, and then the target languages. So those are the languages uh, to translate into. So well, currently we don't have any words to translate because, well, we've used a neural machine translation, but you can actually request bilingual editing or proofreading if you'd like. Also choose what to include in the order untranslated strings maybe maybe and then provide the project briefing so you should provide some additional details about your order and just go to checkout and your order should be um, completed in a few days usually so once you're ready you can return to apps and let's find wordpress once again because i would like to upload or export the translated data back to my website. So let's say manage and then choose one or more items that you would like to export. Let's say export selected. You can choose one or more languages and say OK. And so it will take a few moments to export this data. Now everything is great. And let's return to our posts. Let's say posts, and we can see that there is this uh, pen icon, which means that the Latvian translation should be there. Let's uh, take a look at that. And yes, we can see that there is a text in Latvian, uh, which is great. And so here is our image. Everything is really, really nice. And basically this is it for today. So we have discussed how to get started with this multilingual plugin. We have seen how to translate various types of content. And we have seen how to use Localize in order to enhance your translation workflow. You can find the textual version of this tutorial in Localize blog. You can find the link under the description. And so that's it for today. I thank you for staying with me and until the next time.